What if the universe wasn't a big rubber ball? However, a tremendous black hole with a radius of tens of billions of light years. We have struggled for lots of years to understand in which this chaotic and supermassive matter comes from. In this video, I need you to let go of familiar requirements and theorems, because the fact is, humanity is on the verge of finding solutions to the most confusing questions. The Big Bang idea might be wrong, and we could be only a speck of matter inside a terrific massive black hole. Join us on a bold adventure as we explore a mind-boggling question. Should people without a doubt exist inside a black hole? This is I-200M, a scientific channel delving into the profound mysteries of the universe. The idea that our whole modern universe is a weird thing deep inside a black hole can also sound a bit crazy. However, it is not absolutely unfounded. Going back to the time before the Big Bang, quantum physics suggests that all matter we see today was compressed into a singularity with infinite density, just like a peculiar thing inside a black hole, which we will now have a look at. Scientists have a notable image of the early universe called the Big Bang concept. In this model, a long term ago, the universe was much smaller, hotter, and denser than it is nowadays. About 13.8 billion years ago, during the primordial period, everything that makes up who we are today was formed in the first few short times of the universe's life, all from a tiny compact ball with infinite density, about the size of a peach and a temperature of over a million trillion degrees. The idea of a universe springing up from nothingness may sound fantastically crazy, but the evidence for it is quite convincing. Galaxies are moving far from each other like pieces of shrapnel from an exploded shell, and the lingering heat from the Big Bang remains present all around us, even though it has cooled substantially due to the enlargement of the universe. This afterglow does not appear as visible light. Rather, it exists as microwave radiation, the cosmic microwave background radiation, which was discovered by radio astronomers way back in 1965. Astronomers have done everything from observing the leftover electromagnetic radiation of the early universe to measuring the abundance of the lightest elements, and they have determined that all these observations align with the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. As far as we can tell, that is a correct portrait of our early universe. However, the Big Bang picture is still incomplete. There's a missing puzzle piece, the earliest moments of the universe, and it remains a significant mystery. The problem here is that the laws of physics we use to understand the early universe are a highly complicated combination of general relativity and high-energy particle physics. However, they can only take us up to a certain limit before a breakdown occurs. As quantum physicists attempt to delve deeper into the very early moments of the universe, mathematics becomes increasingly convoluted. If we try to solve it, the complexity only grows until everything reaches a dead end. Therefore, the solution to the question, what was the universe like before the Big Bang, lacks a reasonable solution. But right now, I am able to present to you a rather attractive hypothetical solution. Let's embark on a journey back to the time before the formation of the bizarre singularity from the Big Bang and find out what really happened. We will also have a look at whether our current universe might be a world inside a black hole. Do not worry about doubting the accuracy of the Big Bang, because we won't be focusing on it. Instead, we're going to delve deep into the cosmic string theory. The cosmic string theory is one of the theories regarding the origin and evolution of the universe. It proposes that before the Big Bang, our universe was not a unique event of origin but a part of a continuous chain of universes present within an infinite chain. The hypothesis was proposed by the American astronomer and physicist Alan G.F.F. in the 1980s. He developed this theory to address certain questions that the Big Bang theory encountered, such as why the universe shows such perfect symmetry or why it has a round shape, meaning it isn't contracting due to the gravitational pull of objects. According to the cosmic string theory, before the event of the Big Bang, there was no space, time, or universe as we currently know it. Instead, everything existed in an extremely tiny and incredibly hot collapsed state, also known as a singularity. At the moment of the Big Bang, a very powerful event occurred called inflation, causing space and time to start expanding suddenly and exponentially. The inflation period we know of lasted for a very short duration, only around 10 to the power of negative 36 to 10 to the power of negative 32 seconds after the Big Bang. During this period, space increased rapidly and suddenly, causing the universe to expand very fast, leading to the uniformity and symmetry we observe today. It also explains why the universe has a spherical shape, 
considering that magnetic force and negative gravity pulling the universe into a round shape for the duration of this phase. But instead of stopping after a while like in the traditional Big Bang theory, the cosmic string theory suggests that the expansion never halted and continues infinitely. During this expansion, each new universe is constantly and cyclically spawned from the universe before it. Each new universe may have different characteristics and conditions, but they all still adhere to the general laws of physics. According to this hypothesis, our universe is one of such universes within the endless chain. Although the cosmic string theory proposes a series of universes, each universe exists independently and does not directly impact or interact with others within our observable range. As a result, we cannot directly observe or interact with other universes in this chain. Alan Goose's theory shares many similarities with the idea of black holes that we are currently studying. In both cases, the Big Bang represents the singular point of the universe, and the process of creating baby universes mentioned in the cosmic string theory shares striking similarities with what people speculate about black holes in space. When stars and galaxies operate under the influence of gravitational waves, we know that enigmatic entities like black holes can hide more dimensions of space. That's why entities beyond the event horizon cannot examine the singular point inside it. It's akin to a black hole limiting our understanding of the singular point by making it impossible to escape. If an object falls into the region of the event horizon, nothing can prevent it from falling into the black hole. The same principle applies to our universe as well. Basically, the universe expands indefinitely and continually propels forward, causing everything to be unable to escape its radius. When observing it visually, we cannot exactly conclude whether the universe is expanding or galaxies are falling towards the singular point of this large funnel. This situation is similar to Galileo's story about whether the Earth revolves around the Sun or the Sun revolves around the Earth. To provide more accurate evidence on this matter, we have the Theory of Cosmic Microwave Background, abbreviated as CMB. It is a theory in astronomy related to observing and analyzing cosmic microwave radiation. The CMB, Cosmic Microwave Background, is light emitted from the distant and early stages of the universe. It is generated from atoms formed in the modern universe, allowing light to freely travel through a region. Before that, the universe was a hot, dense plasma that emitted random light. But as atoms formed, the plasma became more transparent, and it no longer absorbed and emitted light randomly. The CMB is detected as microwave radiation with a very low temperature spectrum, approximately 2.7 Kelvin. That's about minus 270.45 degrees Celsius. This is the leftover light from the closest time to the history of the universe after the Big Bang, and we can see it in all directions across the sky. The boundary of the CMB marks the limit of the universe. Beyond it, space cannot escape, similar to the event horizon of a black hole. The boundary lines in place and time between the CMB and the event horizon serve as a boundary for light in the universe where light cannot escape the universe but can move freely through space. These theories and observations open up fascinating possibilities for understanding the nature of the universe and its origins. Whether it's the Big Bang Theory, Cosmic String Theory, or the study of cosmic microwave background radiation, each contributes to our understanding of the cosmos. And while many questions remain unanswered, the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of these mysteries continue to drive scientific inquiry forward revealing more about the universe and our place within it.